All right, guys, so this is going to be the existing HVAC system that we have right here. We're looking at the existing furnace, which is a 17 and a half width, goes all the way up to about 86 inches top to bottom to right here for the first supply run. We have a 10 by 20 cold air return drop connecting into the system by a 20 by 20 by one filter rack and access panel right here. You got the electrical for the system. You got your gas running from hard pipe to flex down into the system. We have two inch running to three inch PVC right over here for the exhaust and the fresh air on this guy which we shouldn't need to change any of the three inch we'll probably just need to change out this connection piece um, and we're looking at an 80,000 b2 furnace with a 310 fan overall so ac coil will be right up top and that's the big thing we're going to be working on we might do both um, but ac is kind of the reason i'm out here um, and we want to make sure everything's sealed up there's a little bit of a air gap right here in between the duct and the furnace itself. I wanna make sure when we put the new AC coil in, everything's sealed up, there's no issues for them. And then we wanna run the uh, condensation line. You can kind of see it right here. But coming back over here, you can see the floor drain. We'll need three quarter inch PVC tying the AC coil with the furnace. And then the line set for the AC. So the line set will actually probably just bring right over here, kind of follow the gas line and we'll run it straight down with the gas line and thus. So this is gonna be where we're gonna run it through, right here. And then come out on this side, you guys can see this is finished. We'll probably cut one or two holes if need be right here. And then another one right about here. And then that should go right outside where we want the outdoor unit. And then we're just gonna do about a 10 by 10 vent cover to kind of conceal it for the meantime. Then he's gonna decide if he wants to do drywall or not, but that'll be it.